Hello. And I'm going to show you something specific here now. Uh, and basically, this is my electrical support beam. It looks like Unistruck, what we call Unistruck back in the UK. Uh, it's obviously embedded in the wall and my electrical cables coming from overhead. Nearly fell off my ladders. Uh, but anyway, this is my main supporting beam for this side of my house for the big lounge that's in here. At the bottom here, it's probably 50 mil, two inches recessed from the face of the wall. Here it's maybe getting on towards five inches. So basically I need to build this out because I want my wall to be flush. The other section of the house has the same beam, but that beam finishes flush with my wall. Uh, so it's gonna obviously mark my wall a little bit coming off the uh, timber. Nothing I can do about that, it's just old houses. But this one, I'm gonna try and cover it with the lime mortar. A bit of the soil there that's from the inside. Anyways, what I'm gonna do, the the problem is that the lime mortar won't stick to the beam. And the lime mortar is good because it's obviously breathable, so that means that this timber can, can breathe uh, and any moisture that gets in it can come back out, which is the whole point of having the lime mortar. But nothing, it's not gonna stick to that or adhere to it. So what I'm gonna do, I've got, I've got these from like, a big multi-chain store. Expensive, 10, 10 euros for them, so that's about nine pounds for two little bags. But anyway, it'll do the job. But these are basically like little U-nails, if you can see that there. Spin it upside down for you. And I'm just gonna put them into the timber, but not all the way in, I need them to be proud, so then that the mortar will wrap around them. So I've got those, and I've got some of these, which are just like, curtain hooks let me see show you and they'll do the same thing i'm just going to screw those in as well basically and that will help my mortar ad adhere to the timber and make it more rigid because with the expansion of and contraction over the years with the heat with the cold it'll just form cracking there and the water will get in the back of it so this hopefully will allow it to you know properly properly stick to our timbers so i'll put a few of these in and then i'll do a little close-up so you can see you know what i've done how i'm doing it and uh, hopefully it'll uh, help the uh, lime mortar adhere to my timber but it won't actually adhere to the timber it'd be just it'd be adhered around the steel and these are galvanised because these are fencing. I use these for fencing a lot. So you put your fence posts in and then you'd obviously put these in. And I'm probably going to use more of the U ones and the curtain type hook ones. And like I said on a couple of my other, vid other videos, if you're just getting started in DIY, you could probably find uh, a cheapish hammer or whatever you need for doing these little jobs. While you get going, see if you actually like the DIY. Because this is one of the best hammers. I think so. I probably could tell you why right now, why I think it's one of the best hammers going but maybe that's uh, something for another day now these curtain hook ones you've probably got some of these lying around or in your little diy club you probably wouldn't have to go out and buy them but uh, it's a case of making do with what you, what you need all because all we need is just something for the mortar to wrap around that's not going to rust and corrode and make as many problems as it's creating or solving, as the case may be. But these, because they're made for the outdoors, we've got a good chance of they'll, they might see me out. So this is probably oak, so it's pretty hard. So I don't know if these eye ones will screw in without a bit of a hammer. 
but we'll, we'll see. Got a few of these in. Yeah, they're going in. I mean, they say that oak, once you get past the first half inch, inch it's hard as nails. But this French oak, it's not quite as hard as the English oak. It's different species, I think. Still the oak tree, but, but different. So I've nearly got two of these uh, I ones in. Obviously, because they're being screwed in, they, feel, they do feel a bit, a bit more firm, firm, secure. Secure might be a better word. So they might just need a little tighten up with the pliers, but you'll uh, you'll get my my drift when you see what I'm doing. You can buy uh, like an expanded metal that's in like. Uh, honey, honeycomb shapes but it's at different angles slightly bent and you can cut that so if you've got a lot of it to do you could cut it and uh, again nail that to the uh, to the timber I've done that a lot in the past uh, just renovating old houses Victorian houses because you pull the old plaster off a wall because it was all loose and no good and you'd find that uh, there's bits of wood in your brickwork because they had no skips you see so they'll have just uh, sh shoved it in the wall and it's still still there still fine after a hundred years there we go so I've got another piece fell out on me so I'm just going to rebuild all this obviously Make it firmer, and you can see it's all soil, like mud. And this isn't a bad thing at all, it all needs to come out. I mean, some people might just try and leave it as one, but I'm happy it's coming out. When it's coming out, it's no good, is it? Oh, that seems firm enough. Yeah, that, I don't know what that white stuff is they've used to put this in but it's obviously uh, a lot quicker quicker harder setting stuff all right last one now and i think that'll do us and i'll show you what i've what i've done little tricks of the trade you might say you might call it things you wouldn't have thought about Right, that's us. So I'll see if I can flick the camera off and give you a close up of that. So, if you're looking at that now, you can see what I've done. These are pretty rigid, and these old uh, U shaped nails are quite good. So, hopefully, that will. The mortar will wrap around those and obviously it's adhered to something whereas obviously pointing these the mortar adheres to the material that's behind it and to the ex existing stones so all good good to go